Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today Mood of Katana is with us my old trusty standard Stratocaster Let's check it out So first and foremost here is Tone Studio In my front I have the clean channel everything else is now disengaged and um, I'm going to try to dial some tones. And when I think about the Stratocaster, like all my other guitars, uh, I think about some clean tones, like Eric Johnson, maybe. Um, some crunch tones. I think about um, Jimi Hendrix. I think about uh, John Mayer. He has an awesome tone. And all the players that play with strats. But uh, usually, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't usually use it for high gain stuff, like mom scene or stuff like this. So that because first I can't play mom scene and second uh, is not really my style so anyway let's proceed uh, I'm gonna start on the neck pickup you guys can see tone studio on the screen everything is flat I'm not going to use the variation mode so this applies to the Katana MK1 okay by itself it's a really rich tone This guitar has now around almost 20 years, so it's pretty cool. And all pickups configurations. So it's done. No, just kidding. Okay, let's start uh, by dialing some effects here on the, um, on the clean channel, some reverb and stuff like that. I'm recording in stereo, so you'll use some. I'll use some stereo effects. I want to start with my reverb and see what's going on here. Uh, we have a plate reverb. I really like it. Let me increase just this a lot. Okay, let's go for a more classic spring reverb and increase here uh, the eye cut we used to have that problem with sensibility on the MK1 not anymore here it works just as expected I can increase the, my reverb time and there's density color effect level I'm going to leave this as it is, I want to increase just a little bit the effect level because I really like this reverb. It's kind of very authentic. I want to re reduce now the effect level and I'm going to engage some delay here. And I'm going to go for a stereo delay. So. Um, I really like the ST3000 because of the modulation. Let's go for um, pan. I believe it's pan. Yeah. Let me decrease this a little bit and increase effect level. I like to have this this. Um, this reverb, sorry, this delay like this, just cutting a little bit more here on the eye cut and decrease the tempo, the, I mean the effect level. And then I'm going to here to chain, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to change this to chain number three, I forgot. I'm going to here to effects and I'm going to engage delay number two, okay? <laughs> Now this may sound a little weird because the Katana is just one speaker, it's not in stereo. If you're recording, um, it's going to sound really cool because you have two delays, one uh, ping, in ping pong mode and the other one uh, with a higher tempo, like probably 600 milliseconds, something like that. And when you record this, uh, it sounds really cool. I'm going to decrease the effect level here on the delay on the delay one delay two okay this is wrong delay two is supposed to be like this my fault delay one is supposed to be like this something like this for probably 420 
Okay. Yeah. Reduce feedback here. And now um, some modulation. I'm going to use the chorus. I haven't touched yet the cues or stuff like that. I'm going to need to touch some of that stuff as well. I believe this chorus. Yeah. You can use also, um, I don't know if it's the harmonist, I think, I think so. And put this in unison. And you'll have a great chorus effect as well. Oh, sorry. This has to be in unison. Oh, come on. Oh, mm -mm. unison. Which is a much more profound chorus effect than the actual chorus. So I'll stick to this. Now let's check out. I have some nasty frequencies here around. So I'm going to use the, the effects slot here uh, to engage a parametric, uh, no, a graphic EQ. It's already with some tweaks, but let me put this at zero. Try to put this at zero as fast as I can. And uh, shit. Okay. There should be a, some key, like shift. Okay, there's, there's too much going on around 500 probably. Let's check out 250. No, this is one that is getting really annoying here. Let's set out with a neck pickup. Oh, much clearer right now. Okay, I'm going to decrease a little bit um, also 500, like 2 decibels. I'm going to increase here a little bit uh, around 2 and 2 here, 3 or 2 on 1K, 2K. Okay, that's enough for me. I'm going to take some mids again. All right. This is not frequency dependent, or if it is, we don't know what the, what the frequency is. So, I don't want to lose too much body, so I'm going to increase the bass. Also, the presence, uh, it's around here, and I'm going to change to vintage. Okay, now I'm going to the my EQ here, I'm going to engage it. And the high cut is around 10, so let's check out. Not much of a difference, but it is there. I'm going to just pinpoint here around 250 again, but now I'm going to um, put the mid cue like this, you know, narrower, and uh, check it out. And a weird frequency, you're going to take a lot, like minus 10. Yeah, it's sounding, it's sounding great, actually. So... Probably too much gain. Wanted it to be a little bit cleaner. Yeah, more like this. Increase a little bit the treble here. And it's really great for this kind of uh, open chords. Or more weird complex chords, you know. That I don't know how to do. If you want to even out uh, your playing, and right now, even on, on the MK2, I'm checking now that if I want to have a compressor, I can't because I already 
um, took all the slots, but I would like to add a compressor. So the only option I have here to add a compressor to even out the tone is to disengage uh, one of the delays. Yeah, modulation is on, effect is on with EQ. So yeah, with the compressor, you know, you guys, what happens. Might be good in certain, certain, certain situations you want to even out as you play different. But it's sounding great. With effects, sounds huge. Now I'm gonna turn out all these effects off. Uh, I'm gonna leave the effects because it's my structure in terms of EQ. Also this on. I'm gonna turn the crunch on, crunch channel. And immediately I see that, um, first of all, it's too noisy. It's not even engaged the trash the compressor the suppressor and then i think it's a little bit too ear piercing for the neck pickup so going back to effects uh probably gonna put this where it was at zero and turn down these frequencies up to 16k a little bit and let's see what happens like this just to see if it's more warm not yet so i'm going to this eq here and take out a little bit more. Even more and see what happens. I'll probably put this like this and put this at zero by now. For this kind of tone, you're gonna need some extra oomph. I don't know how to say this better. Let me put this at 5K. Almost there, not quite. I'm liking the 5k here. I'm gonna take some treble here, going to effects again, and take more of that 16k and probably 4k. I'm not looking at the numbers necessarily. Yeah, I like this darker tone. Uh, it suits me, suits me much better. You also have that sparkly tone. Even if it's a little bit more close, so this is a taste. This is a taste thing. You can go here into EQ and increase up to 10 kilohertz. <laughs> So I'm going to leave it around 8, just for the sake of it. And if you see it's very bright, you go here to the present, to the treble knob and just reduce a little bit. Uh, and now, let's see the booster. I like, really like to use a clean boost. It's one of those pedals that really doesn't alter too much the tone. I'm going to engage it, just put this everything at noon. And I'm going to engage it the way it is to see what changes does it make this is going to be 50 okay it's very hot in here in my country like uh i don't know why i'm talking about this but it's very hot here inside like 34 to 35 36 37 degrees celsius let's go for the booster i think it's not doing anything yet very subtle Let's give it a little bit more effect level. Or perhaps not, more drive, like around 30, something like that. And then you can hear, can hear the, the effect. It's there already. It added a little bit more uh, weight to the tone, which is pleasant, more body to it. Engage it. Let's increase a little bit the tone here, around six. Always don't forget to check out in other positions to see if it's sounding good. 
It is. This one. More vintage sounding for me at least. Okay, it's sounding cool. About the bottom hand, I think it's okay. Now let's give it a little bit of a reverb, but let's 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 go for a plate reverb this time and see what happens. Oh, gotta increase the level. try to do something here which is to add a compressor modulation here and let's go for a compressor uh, sometimes it sounds good sometimes it doesn't let's try it out don't forget the compressor has to have the same level uh, engaged and disengaged okay you don't want this okay so I'm gonna choose the um, decomp because I really like that very 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 aggressive uh, let's turn down the level first a little bit more turn down the attack I want a fast attack has to be really subtle uh, the compressor okay okay right now it's even taking out a little bit of distortion and in the chain, the compressor is in the front of the amp, so... Even out the tone and the sound, the volume, but also gives more compression to um, gives more attack and sustain. I mean, you know, to the thinner uh, strings like on the I E. I think the katana loves uh, single calls, to be honest. But sometimes you're struggling to get heard in the mix. Sometimes for me, when I'm so used to unbuckers, that um, seems that I'm losing the tone totally. You know, you're going from and then suddenly, and I I, I think the compressor usually uh, helps here. So where is my mod? I don't know why, but oh, it's okay. It didn't respond. Let me disengage it. It has a little bit more volume but less sustain. So let's increase let's increase a little bit the level here. Okay. A little bit more because it's okay. So it doesn't really cut the note too soon. Especially handy if you have a nice suppressor too high. In this case, I can reduce it to around maybe 20, something like this. So it would be great for this tone to have a um, uh, not a reverb we're using, which is a plate. Let's go for a more vintage.
and it's sounding great, man. Uh, and this is why I love the katana. It's so versatile. Versatile. I'm sorry. I think I'm not doing anything more here. You can add some delay to it if you want to. In this case, I would increase definitely the time to around 500 or 600 milliseconds. Uh, and see what happens. Okay, this is in pan mode. Let me put this uh, in digital. Not digital, probably um, a tape echo. Yeah. And you can hear the compressor kicking in, which is really great. And with your foot switch, you can control the, um, the booster, right? For more of a cleaner tone. If you're playing rhythm. Probably need more um, travel for this type of, type of application, but this is what comes to me uh, if I'm using my Stratocaster. This is the type of tone that I'm searching for, some really rich, overdriven amp, like a boutique amp or something like that, and then some really rich, clean tones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more next Tuesday. There will be another mood of the day, mood of, mood, Katana mood of the day. I haven't yet um, memorized the name. So um, till there, stay safe. Cheers.